Well, I do think there's um, both pessimism and optimism in my pictures. Like, um, I like in my work there to be lightness and darkness together. Um, there are various tensions in my pictures uh, between the real and the and fiction, and between darkness and light, between nature and domesticity. So it's never just one thing. So if there's a sense of sadness or alienation, there's also some sense of hope and possibility. When I make a picture, I just think about the moment in the photograph. I never think about what happened before or what happens after. Um, and when in the pictures, even though there's a sense of foreboding or um, possible um, anxiety or mystery, almost nothing is really happening. It's just usually a figure in a setting, um, but there is a kind of underlining sense of dread or um, something that like might happen but hasn't happened yet. I'm really most interested in setting, in landscape, in place, and then um, I, the figures um, kind of is, exist within that landscape. Um, but, you know, in different series, the camera is either closer or further, depending on, on what I want from the pictures. Uh, each series has its own um, size in terms of the print, but also own like aspect ratio. And it's not something that's very conscious, but like when I'm working in more panoramic, I'm certainly thinking of like film. Um, and then when I'm uh, closer, yeah, there is a reference to like the TV screen or a window. So that's like, to me, like I'm always thinking of the pictures as windows. And then there's always like windows in windows, doorways, um, various kinds of framing devices that like um, reference the act of making pictures. The uh, idea of like a adolescent boy reaching down through the drain below the surface um, in some ways reflects my own experience of um, growing up with my father being a psychotherapist and attempting to listen to the floorboards for like um, secrets and things that feel forbidden. So um, when I look at it now, I can't help but think of myself as the boy.